Hey guys, this is my first video on YouTube, so I'm super psyched about that, and I just want to tell you a few things about myself. My real name is Caleb, I live in New Jersey, and I am 13 years old. I also have a Flickr account named Neighborhood Bricks, just like this YouTube channel, and I upload on that about, like, you know, two times a week, sometimes more if I can, but, you know, school started, so it's a bit hard. I try to upload there as much as possible, so please go check that out. Now for the review. The water, I try to make it like, you know, crashing onto the beach like it did on actual D-Day, and I think it looks pretty good. Although, the water behind the Higgins boats that have already landed, they look like they're moving, but like, you know, it's, it's okay, I'm fine with that. Because this is just a test, because for Brick Fair Virginia 2016, I want to do a micro-scale D-Day mock. The guys on Flickr, I told them about that in my post of this, uh, of this mock. Everybody seems super psyched about that. I got, I got a lot of faves on that right away in the day, for me. Anyway, um, the Higgins boats, they are not my design. They're designed by Josh on Flickr. So go check him out. He does a lot of cool builds. He hasn't posted recently, though. It's, it's been, like, almost a year since he posted last. He might be out of Lego, but, you know, I had to give him some credit for that. I know it's a simple build, but, you know, he's my, he's fam. Everybody who does Lego is fam, so we must respect the fam. <laughs> okay. So the little studs on the beach, they're supposed to be the tank barricades. And at this scale, I think that represents them pretty well. Um, I couldn't do any, like, you know, U.S. Army soldiers landing on the beach because that would look way too, like, blocky and stuff at that scale. Um, so I think it look, just looks better like this without having, like, the little block soldiers running up. The barbed wire, I did, um, I used, like, the chain on it. And I have a whole bunch of chain I collected from, like, the old castle sets. So if I do a big mock, it'll be fine. So I like, I like how that looks with that. Um... The bunker, when you think of D-Day, you have to think of a bunker, right? So this bunker, for the, for the scale, I think it, like I nailed it with that. Like, it looks really, really good. I like how it's like kind of shaded in there, but you, like, you know, of course, there's not going to be any light in there. But I just, I just like the way it looks. Like, it looks so cool right there. And if you look at like the two little uh, light tan tiles on top of the rocks, those are supposed to represent sandbag bunkers. So I, like, you know, I wanted to add a few more bunkers because if I didn't have those up there, it would just be, like, you know, the one main concrete one. There's, like, four Higgins boats, and it would already be flanked. So I wanted to make it make sense a little bit. Um, the sloping, it, but the sloping of the rocks, I did some snot work on it. And I got, insp I got inspiration to do that from, uh, from Josh. But since, like, you know, I can't really give him credit for that because other people do that. So, yeah. I tried to switch out a few pieces, like I like I used like some normal like brick slope bricks. If you if you see that, I also use some of the uh, cheese slopes and then some one by one uh, plates to like you know give it the nice rocky feel. <coughs> okay, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and this concludes my first YouTube video. Yay! And I didn't mess up on this one.